guys, just woke up. It's uh, 6 a.m. And today I'm gonna try to do this uh, a lot, a lot earlier than uh, yesterday. Everything is ready to go. So, let's get going. Off we go. Just need to get ice from the ice machine downstairs and load all this crap onto the bike. It's already a brisk uh, million degrees outside. It's barely 7 a.m. or not even 7 a.m. yet. I'm not quite gonna put everything on right now because gas station is just next door so I gotta get there and then take everything off so one step at a time all right I'm all gassed up water uh, little did I know the GoPro would be pulling one of his tricks uh, of uh, not recognizing a microphone because what 10 15 years have gone by GoPro still hasn't managed to make a microphone interface that is decent but it's already hot it's about uh, in the 90s at this time in the morning already so uh, we have a full schedule Grand Canyon then a cave looking for the Chupacabra and then a crater in uh, Whistler. So, nafli chicha, let's get on it. Although it's all rocky, this is a pretty good landscape. Uh, I'm enjoying the trip so far very much. This is only day two and I'm already having a ball. But uh, we're fast approaching the Grand Canyon through the magic of editing. And uh, before we get there, I decided to stop Formula One style and get some uh, gas. Because I'm not quite sure if there's going to be gas station at the Grand Canyon. And... Uh, also, knowing the way those things go, if there is a gas station, it's going to be 10 bucks a gallon or something like that. So, real quick, off we go. Next stop, the Grand Canyon. And yes, I'm still yapping in my helmet, unknowing that the microphone is not working. like uh, this is the closest I'm gonna get to the to the rim over there with uh, the bike so I gotta leave it here in the shade and make my way there and check it out So I'm taking a break here, uh, looking out at the Grand Canyon. I found a place to spot in the shade here. Uh, and since I'm at it, I put on my flip-flops. Act of randomness uh, for no reason. I'm gonna eat a banana at the Grand Canyon. Next stop, uh, there are some caves kind of that way <laughs> I'm gonna try to make my way over there hopefully the phone uh, keeps giving me directions and uh, see if I can get into some caves the rear tire is already showing sign of uh, wearing out major 
Uh, I probably have another 1500 miles to go. Finger crossed, but uh, all right. I'm gonna eat my banana and uh, I'll catch you guys back uh, when I'm about to leave. Man, I look like a bum. <sighs> Flip flops. But fuck it. Adventure boots are super hot. Ta-da! Hopefully my socks uh, dried out. <laughs> it's one thing the crash bars are good for: drying socks out. I really need to take a picture of the bike. At this point I was slightly concerned about the fire. You can see the smoke at the horizon. That's the general direction I'm going to, but uh, fortunately was nowhere to be seen, so quick stop to put in off-road mode and off we go, looking for those caves. anything off the bike there's really nothing of value it's just you never know with people let's hope uh, those caves are worth uh, looking at remember the goal is to find the chupacabra. So, ice peeled. Right, it's nice and cool. <laughs> Yeah, I can, I can feel the air coming up. I'm in. I'm in. And Jen just yeah. run a pipe. Oh, it's nice and cool. Oh snap, that's a sheet of ice. That way, this way, uh, this way. <laughs> Look at that. That's the exit. That way. Anything nice to look at down there or? Yeah, yeah. yeah the end is really cool. Yeah. It gets really um, far forward, so. All right. And at the end, if you have a black boy, you can see some blood in at the end. We come in peace. I always forget I have my Garmin watch that has a flashlight on it. And it's much better than the phone. Oh shit.
long way out there. I walked, I don't know, maybe half a mile, maybe more. The cave is uh, fairly safe. It's one way in, one way out, and it's mostly straight. Uh, it's a little hard to descend down there, yeah. but it was fun. It's super cold, but then uh, you keep walking. I, I don't know. I walked uh, 3,000 steps down there whatever that comes to be and uh, the end uh, was nowhere to be seen so I was like all right time to go back I still gotta go to the Winslow crater I still have I'm not sure how far to go but so time to get back on the bike and keep going if uh, Nobody stole uh, anything. <laughs> we'll see. Something caught my eye while I was uh, riding on the freeway, so I decided to exit and uh, once I approached those ruins, I saw the sign that says Mountain Lions. Well, now I'm intrigued. My best guess is once upon a time they used to have mountain lions here and then everything went to beep <laughs> and that was it. So I went around uh, those ruins left and right just to take a look and uh, it was kind of cool but at a certain point I needed to keep going so off we go. I think the crater is right there, that thing. The sign says uh, two miles to impact. helmet with me because outside is way too cold. I say it cold. <laughs> it's way too hot. Alright. Uh, let's go take a look at the crater. I haven't looked at it just yet because uh, I want to react <laughs> to it. See if I it woes me or something. Sometimes I get easily distracted, so here it is, a lizard. Now because of the wind you can't quite hear me, but this is what I'm saying. I love lizards, best pet ever. And here's the crater, pretty wally. Last stretch, finally. After a long, hot day, I'm getting to my destination. Alright, I made it to Winslow, Arizona. I'm here at the... I don't even know what 
the roadside inn or something it's a choice privilege hotel uh, part of that thing but my god <laughs> there is not a towel that is not stained or yellow uh, the bed is sketchy it is what it is so uh, today it was a good day started early the Grand Canyon was nice um, expensive 30 bucks to go look at the Grand Canyon I guess it is what it is but uh, nothing after the Grand Canyon and went to the caves the caves were bigger than I thought <laughs> I just kept going on and on and on and on and uh, at a certain point I, I might have walked near a mile uh, I just turned around it's like it's not ending I, I can't can't be in here for hours it was nice and cold though I'll tell you that much uh, I went to look at the crater near Winslow uh, that was nice 30 bucks they have a fixed uh, price for everything uh, around those places and uh, nothing now I'm gonna go try to find something to eat and then come back in here and try to get some sleep and uh, wake up early and get the hell out of here <laughs> um, for tomorrow light schedule petrified forest uh, a few attractions but mostly just enjoying the the drive uh, staying south of Albuquerque uh, we'll see it'll be a light day i need a light day anyway thank you very much to my patrons check the description down below for links of my stuff and uh and i'll see you next time